magician's secret warehouse. She'll be his next victim. I mean, volunteer. We haven't seen her before. She looks friendly and well-dressed, too. The magician calls in his assistants. They're always friendly, if sometimes underdressed. They each take the end of a sheet and on his command, raise the sheet in front of the girl. The magician lifts the sheet to prove that she's still there. Yes, those are her real legs. In this mysterious secret warehouse, you can bet that something devious is about to happen. The magician lowers the sheet, and the assistants carefully place it up and over the girl's head. She had her chance to get out of this trick before it started. Let's see how she ends up. The magician raises the sheet to reveal the girl no longer has a middle. Take a closer look. Amazingly, the girl's midsection has actually disappeared. Incredible. transfer the flame from the candle to the tip of his thumb, then transfer it back, 
without hurting himself. Here are the secrets. The candle is real, and so is the flame. Remember, there is an element of danger. The big secret is a small gimmick hidden in his right hand. A flesh-colored plastic shell known as the magician's thumb. It contains a wick in the end. There's the wick. If we look inside, we can see plenty of wick and fireproof padding to protect his thumb. The wick is coated with lighter fluid, which burns brightly without burning the wick too quickly. When it appears that he is transferring the flame to his thumb from the candle, he's really just lighting the wick on the fake tip and using the plastic to extinguish the candle. The audience sees the flaming thumb and thinks he can hold fire in his bare hand. To put the flame back on the candle, he simply uses the thumb tip to light the candle's wick and then uses the wax to snuff out the flame on his plastic thumb. Now that the candle is lit, how does he vanish the fake thumb? He simply hides it in his palm while he is making his magical gestures. It's gone. And now you know the secrets.